Alright, hey guys, Trevor Christian here today with, and we're back with Stranger Things Season 2, Episode 2. Last episode was pretty much just us getting reintroduced to all the characters, a bit more back into the plot points, and then setting up for the story for the rest of the season, along with like Will getting his like PTSD, and then seeing like he's, he's like sort of in a half and half, like you see in the other world and the reality at the same time, and then predicting this storm with a massive monster behind it, which was pretty cool. Then we was introduced to Max, who's like this superior gamer, and she's going to probably play a part in the story and join the boys to add another female character to the crew, I'm guessing. And then we've also got to see Hopper is hanging out with Eleven, um, which is going to be interesting to dive into and see how that all occurred and what else Hopper, what Hopper discussed with the government at the time um, or what sort of deal we made with him. Other than that, it's been a, it was a nice nice introduction back to the episode. Nothing major happened, but we just got pretty much back into the story and then we're sort of seeing where season two is going to go. And I'm quite interested. Like I said, when I was watching season one, I was quite sure, like, oh, what are they going to do for season two? But then season one and season one answered that by having like throwing like their little worm will spin up the worm 11 going missing and stuff like that so yeah we've got quite a few things to dive into for season two and i'm looking forward to just the progress to see how it goes but yeah if you like this reaction guys please leave a like and subscribe as i'm doing the umbrella academy it also gives you a chance when i finish a show to choose another show for me and always appreciate if you leave a comment because i usually enjoy reading them but yeah feel free to follow me on twitter as well as i'm trying to use that more to share with my videos and stuff like that just give out a bit more but other than that guys please enjoy this reaction so she was missing for a year, so how long was she stuck there? Because obviously Hopper had to put food in the box, so she might have been there a while. Well, she got out pretty easily. That's good. So, me, so Hopper's pretty much keeping her away from the government then. Hopper gets to be a dad. I love it. Who would it be? The bad man. What are you talking about? God help us got something to take care of, especially after his daughter. Yes. Oh, if you don't show up, just gonna sneak out. Boy. Oh, I like this is gonna actually be a sort of thing we're gonna go into. Hopper being a father figure, I love it. It's so hard for letter to let him out of his sight. Oh, I need some tape. Hold on. Ooh, jab. <laughs> Will is about as photogenic as I am. I hate it. Why are you Venkman? Because I'm Venkman. No, I'm Venkman. Why can't there just be two Venkmans? Because <laughs> there's only one Venkman in real life. We planned this months ago. I'm Venkman, Dustin Stans, you're Egon, and you're Winston. I specifically didn't agree to Winston. Yes, you did. I don't think he did. No one wants to be Winston, man. What's wrong with Winston? What's wrong with Winston? He joined the team super late. He's not funny, and he's not even a scientist. Oof. So <laughs> what a random argument. <laughs> Guys? Guys! Guys! Why is no one else wearing costumes? Did they just get pranked? Oh no. Be cool. Who are you gonna call? The nerds! <laughs> Savage. <laughs> I love how they both fall in love with Max. Got a crush on Max, I mean. We gotta do this. They're never gonna move. I love the dramatic yeah, music there. Yep. Okay. <laughs> I hope, I hope it's evil. That is probably the most annoying thing in the world. She's seeing bobs and people. It's like everyone forgot. It's like nobody cares. 
Except her parents, and now they're selling the house, and they're yes. going to spend the rest of their lives yeah. looking for I her. Know, I know. It's destroying them. No, I know. Okay. That would be pretty fucking hard to deal with. Are they put a letter? No, no. <clears throat> Hi, Max. I'm Dustin, and th this is Lucas. Yeah, I know. The stalkers. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. Actually, we weren't we were stalking you. No, we we. They actually we're talked to. I'm surprised. Because, you know, you're you're new and all. Yeah, 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 yeah. For your safety. Deep little trap here, and look, it even opens and closes. Look, look, look. Wait. Dustin is the best. <laughs> cool, right? No? Okay, but, um, so we, we were talking last night, and you're new here, so you probably don't have any friends to take you trick-or-treating, and you're scared of bullies, so, uh, we, we were thinking <laughs> that it would be okay if you come with us. It'd be okay. Yeah, our party's a democracy, and the majority vote is you could come. I didn't realize it was such an honor to go trick-or-treating with you. <laughs> yeah, She's so sarcastic. She's gonna write good. That's presumptuous of you. Yeah, totally. Uh, so, um, um, you'll come? No. <laughs> they tried. The meeting at the Maple Street cul-de-sac at seven. At seven on I the I respect dollar. them trying. Presumptuous. <laughs> it's not a good word. It's a good thing, right? <laughs> Is it bad? <laughs> Fucking distance Luke. the ledge. Is it bad? Should we control the animals? <laughs> Oh yeah, she would have needed food. We're running back into a flashback. <laughs> Thought she just did it then. Dinner is served. Wrecked. She just mug him. <laughs> Mate, you know he's gonna get a hold up and not make it back in time. What do I need to roll these two gonna play in the story? Oh, this place is such a shit. It's not that bad. No? Mm, you smell that, Max? That's actually shit. Cow shit. I don't see any cows. Clearly you haven't met the high school girls. So what, you like? Ooh. Your fault. What's wrong with this brother, mate? Mate, Billy has problems. Mate, who the fucking blame her? Mate, poor Max. What shit, brother? I'm interested now to learn more about him. Is the other world like sort of slowly coming into the real one? Bob is a legend, mate. He's fucking either. Sam. I mean, I can't even go trick or treating by myself. It's lame. You, you think I'm lame? No, but it's not like Nancy's coming to watch over Mike, you know? Ooh. <laughs> He's tried so hard. Right. Yeah, boy. Hey, Jonathan trying, but. Right? I hope it doesn't suck. <laughs> Mate, does that mean he's going to go to the party? Yeah, boy. Go on, Jonathan. Go. Let my Nancy and Jonathan shit continue. Yeah, you know, Steve's not that bad. 
Mate, Steve turned into the caring guy. About character development, though. Mate, this guy's a ledge. I hope he's not like a traitor or some shit. This is where he dies. Why do I feel like they're going to kill off Sam? <laughs> Like that, you sound like a little bit <laughs> wrecked. Hey, you guys coming or not? Oh, oh, she's hanging out of him. Yes, boy. That does seem all happy, mate. <laughs> Max seems cool. I like him. How did you forget, for fuck's sake? Fucking hell. I even forgot myself to be fair. What? To her. Joining our party. It's just for Halloween. You should have checked with me. Let him off. They Let him have fun, mate. I guess I thought you'd be okay with it. Well, She's ruining the best well, part of fucking... the year. Hey, you need to call your shit now. Mike needs to fucking chill. Mate, it must be so irritating to get teleported all the time. Mike. What is fucking Cthulhu doing in this show, mate? <laughs> Me after one drink. <laughs> Mate, can you try to even be around this many people? My anxiety would just kick off if I didn't have fucking alcohol in me. Jonathan. <laughs> it's Flitz. Don't bother with Nancy. Have a party, mate. <laughs> what? Kiss? Uh -huh. no. Why has Nazi been so rebellious, oh. mate? Should I puke? Can I puke? Put it down. No. Nancy, put it down. Steve, stop. 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 <gasps> I don't blame Steve, she's going hard, fucking hell. He's just looking out for you. Dude, stop drinking. Bullshit. Chuck <laughs> Nancy, bullshit. 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 No, it's not bullshit, bullshit. Nancy. No, you. You're. Why is she talking to Steve? Bullshit. What? You're, you're pretending okay. like. like everything's okay. You know, like. like. like we didn't. like we didn't, didn't kill, kill Bob. Barb. Like. like it's great. <laughs> it's, it's the new shit. Oh, like we're in love? It's bullshit. You don't love me? It's bullshit. Ooh. <laughs> Drunk Nancy, troll. I'm gonna finish your moment. Just don't take advantage of poor Drunk Nancy. Okay, all right. Don't take advantage. I'd be proud if you don't. See, I can respect that. Him just dropping him off, even though. He... See, I'm happy he just did that. Happy nothing really happened between us. I just feel like I would have just been taken advantage of because she's drunk. But no, Jonathan's alleged. Just gets her back safely. I'm just gonna Not be out here by myself one. eating all this candy. I'm gonna get fat. It's very unhealthy to leave me out here. Could have a heart attack or something. <laughs> Looking but, proper. You know, you do what you want.
dun, dun. They will meet again, don't worry, show. Hmm. want to go out and see him but I can understand why Hopper needs to keep it hidden the government's fucking after after all it's a difficult one I'm trying to see what's in the spin the most polite ghost bust the weapon <laughs> what do you call ghost busted um yep yeah, a lot more fun episode it looks like we're diving a lot more into the relationship aspects and not relationships but like yeah, and the relationship sort of between Carol, uh, felt bad between Elle and Hopper there, but like you can understand both point of view. Like Elle wants to go out and meet her friends again. I mean, it's been a year, and they must be getting out now, being trapped in the house basically. But you can understand Hopper's point of view. The government's fucking after her at the end of the day, and he's got to keep her safe. I like the little thing between Johnny, uh, no, um, Steve and Nancy. I thought it was gonna be an interesting scene. Her like breaking down like because she's not alive. I think pretending that it's okay, and is she with Steve just to make things normal? Um, as she's trying to help her pretend. Um, so it was a little nice and tried between those. And I did feel sort of bad for Steve there, like he was really trying. Um, and then, yeah, no, no, a little bit with Jonathan and I'm glad he didn't take advantage of her, didn't kiss or nothing happened when she's drunk. I'm glad that he just, he just took her back, got her home safe, and left her in the bed and left. But obviously, looked out long and as he does want, I think he obviously does have a crush on her, um, which was all interesting. And then, like, stuff between the kids, I really enjoyed the Max and Justin stuff, along with Lucas. Um, that was all fun. Max seems like a cool character as well. I thought we get to know a bit more about the episode and then that sort of seeing how much of a dick a brother is. But how popular he is at the same time with everyone else in the with a load of other the high schoolers. And looks like it's gonna be sort of a rival between Steve and him just from the episode with the drinking. But no, overall really fun episode, really enjoyed it. I'm glad to see the story's gonna start kicking off the story slowly like building up and it's gonna kick off in one go. I like the stuff with Will. Saw the PCSD stuff, that's pretty cool. Putting us on the other side and making him basically being the focal point of the story. And obviously him being back adding something to the story as well, which is good. But other than that guys, hopefully you enjoyed the reaction. Please like and subscribe if you did, and I'll see you next week.